Greetings coders. In this video, we're going to look at working with inherited classes, specifically looking at how we invoke methods from a parent's class and also how we can dynamically cast variables from one object to another. With superclasses, so when we have a parent, a superclass is the same as the direct parent of a subclass. To invoke parent methods, we must use the scope operator. Whatever the parent class name is, we give it that to resolve it, and then the parent's method that we want to access. For example, in child print, if we wanted to call the parent's print function inside of it, we would use parent colon colon print where parent is the, the class name of the parent. When we want to use a parent's constructor, we will take a slightly different approach. So in this case, when we want to invoke immediately the parent's constructor from Polygon, we use the colon after the constructor signature and then call it however we would like. So this will call polygons constructor A and B, and then you can do additional initiation stuff here. In C++, casting works a little differently than it worked in, in C. We haven't done a whole lot of casting in C, but in some instances when we want a value to become a different type of value, we would use casting. And in C, if we wanted to tell it that int was to become, be treated as a double, then we would use the parentheses with the double type in there next to x. And this would tell the compiler to treat x as though it was a double instead of an int. In C++, a cast like this uses the static cast keyword with the inside less than greater than this is what's called a template inside the template we tell it the target cast that we want x to have and so this will turn x and treat it as a double and this will not throw uh, an error there are a few other casting methods that we can use in c plus plus static cast that we saw is commonly used it's checked by the the compiler const cast will convert a variable or an object into a constant at some point and then dynamic cast casts a pointer that's pointing at an object and allows us to change that object type as long as it falls within the inheritance hierarchy dynamic casting in c++ allows us to convert from one pointer to another within an inheritance hierarchy. The reason we use dynamic cast is that it will check the types at runtime to ensure the new pointer is compatible. Let's take a look at an example. In here, we're using the publication hierarchy again. And so we have publication as an abstract class. We have periodical as an abstract class and then newspaper and magazine are both concrete classes. They implement subscription rate and print info. These are all within the same inheritance hierarchy, whether we had a type of periodical or a publication, we can switch between newspaper and magazine. However, to do so, we must use the dynamic cast. Let's look at a code example. In this example, we have instantiated an object magazine using a pointer, so it's pointing to the heap. We have publication that is equal to new newspaper. We can do this because it's a child class. And this is what's called an implicit upcast from newspaper to publication. In this instance, no dynamic cast is required because it's being created at this point in time. However, in the next line, we do require the dynamic cast because this is what's called a downcast. In other words, we are converting the base class pointer to another derived class pointer, and we need to ensure that conversion is valid at runtime. Dynamic cast will do this for us at runtime. 
because if it's not valid, it will return a null pointer. And that's it for this video.